What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Come on, Eivor! Can't you run any quicker? Knud, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Your dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There is no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. For her. She's crying. We have to help. Your family probably misses her. house needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. The children must have missed you, poor fellow. Or they might be singing a different song. It looks like something attacked you. An animal. No key here. I should look around. Dame Wallace isn't here to butcher you, but I need to see if you're carrying a key. And there it is, along with your last meal. I'll free that wolf, and pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is set, he never made it home. At least this end came quickly. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy. Easy. Have a kind look to you. Wait! Easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you alright? Did you see the wolf? Yes! You freed her! You're amazing, Eivor! But she ran away, and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it's time to get you three back to the settlement, before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite... Uh, more wolves! And no... 
not our new friend! Stand back! Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. The wolfka. What? The wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? The Wolfka. It has an absurd sound just like all of this. She's our best friend. Now, we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned, just until we get home. I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now, scamper off home and take your new friend with you. Good day, Eivor. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Letterchestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton. To meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarssons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Sail down! Save... And you will 
Approaches. Oh, bless! Step back, Dane. I am sworn to this lady, and unafraid to kill the likes of you. You're going to if you're going to hold someone against their will, it would be wise to gag them. I am saying so quick. Lady Annis belongs to me. I told you to leave, Dane. The lady is mine. No more. I yield. Find another champion, lady! Strange. It is over. You can come out now. Tarquin? My thing! What has happened? Your captor fled. Felt a little soft for my liking. What are you really doing in there? Oh, God, no. It was only a game. A romp. My dear Tarquin, how could you? I saw a man holding you against your will. All a part of the seduction. <laughs> oh, God. You really thought my life was in danger. And you risked your own. Oh, you. Oh, you are so brave. A fine protector. Tell me you're joking. Please. You must fight for me. Who knows what lurks below? What vile people might come to harm me? I need a protector, stout and resolute. Please, stand guard below. If I do, will you come out? Oh, <laughs> assuredly. Just uh, stand at the door below. That will place you directly between me and any bad, bad men. Already. Trouble coming. Oh, good. Real trouble. Keep quiet. Oh, where is me? A king's daughter who has run away from her royal house with all of its red jewels in tow. Huh? Well, now. I'd say that's worth a look. Ah. Family, they've died unjustly. They need to be burned. But this fire won't do. I must burn them before they turn into vengeful draugers. There must be something around here that burns. Oil jars for the fire. This should be enough. Will they truly rest? You said the Draugrs, your family no less, would return vengeful. It's my fault. 
I killed them. My greed robbed me of my senses, and now my family. My brother was to inherit my father's wealth. But it was my right. They called me a lout, a disgrace. They were right. Now our family fortune sits in the house, worthless when there is nobody left to enjoy it with. A favor I beg of you. Slay me so I may join them in Helheim and beg their forgiveness. Men like you deserve something worse than death. I hope your family condemns you even in Helheimer. Secret should be here with the Regnesons. Dock the ship here! Some of us are staying behind, as I hear it. Half the army's already in Tamworth, and we've now got help from the south. It's our lot to look after this place now, to protect her. Shame. Wanted to see the look on Burgred's face when we stormed his fortress. Now we'll just hear big tales, told by drunken heroes. All Danes are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Care to prove me wrong? Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I will take you on. Brilliant. Some flighting spirit. How about a wager? Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Prepare to taste bitter defeat once our battle is done. Oh, ho, ho, terrible. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're no better than a rat that I would evict from my house. No sense of timing. This one is no match for you, young elf. I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Your pride is appalling and your rhyming is worse. 
Got you there, young Earth. <laughs> As predicted. A slow brain and a fat tongue. You are not worth the effort. Come find me when you've honed your skills. Back for more, eh? Must have an appetite for punishment. I've deciphered your rhymes and the form of your flight. I am ready to give you the brunt of my wit. Good. And how much will you wager? Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Oh, to beat such a braggart will surely be fun. Ah, quick to bite back. Be careful, young Earth. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant. I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Your pride is appalling, and your rhyming is worse. Got you there, young Earth. <laughs> I'm impressed. You are as sharp as that axe on your belt. As promised. I will have my winnings now. Take the gold. You've earned it. That song. You have spent some days on a longship. Oh, many. <laughs> See this salt blasted hair? It took a pummeling over the years. All that seawater. Feels like hay now. Better keep away from the horses then. <laughs> you are very quick and sturdy by the looks of you. But you are not from that Ragnarsson camp there in Repton. I would have recognized you. I belong to another clan. What are you doing away from yours? I have been cast out. Too old, too frail. Dead weight, as they say. I will have to get used to watching the sights of war from afar now. No shame in that. Not many of us can say they lived long enough to simply retire. You have earned it. But have I? Or have I missed my chance? I thought I knew what lay ahead, but now that is foreign to me. Embrace it. Sail the seas. Write your songs and bellow out on the winds. Sounds nice to me. You are far too young to speak so wise. There is a bright future for you and your clan. I would like to add to it. Take this key. And if you find yourself in Repton, seek out my quarters near the docks. There is a large tree out front. Inside you will find a few of my most prized items. Take them. I no longer have any need. You honor me. Call it a gift from the old guard to the new. Odin guide your way, young Drenkur. Burns!
Must be that old raider's place. He said he wanted me to have his things. This crate is filled with songs. Must have taken a long time to write them all out. I should return it to the old raider. These are some trinkets you left behind, old man. Ah, you've come back. Why are you wasting your time with me? This crate has all of your written songs. This is not a gift I can accept or repay. You'll want to revisit these someday. They should stay with you. I had forgotten all about them. Something to work at on this new journey of mine. You have only the setting sun to tell you when to stop. And maybe not even then. That is twice you have earned my admiration. Please, tell me your name. Eivor. Eivor. If the gods will it, I will find my seat at Odin's table before you. And there I will speak of you so that when the time comes to claim your seat, they will greet you by name. Farewell.
Are you Sigurd Drenger? Uh, Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, we'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. <clears throat> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. Oh. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies. And now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and breaking of piss. Hey! Saxon piggy, uh, uh, to run amok to the mercy in fields. <laughs> uh. I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we throw them out. You plunge your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to take the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Fergrid sent a Vergeld your way. Enough of your noise, Tona. We have plans to devise. Avram! Avram! I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Eivor here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shellwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. I can't imagine the current king is too happy about all this. Burgred is furious, of course. But this is our new reality. And I won't sit idly while he drags our kingdom through the dirt. 
The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole. Only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Bugred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Jailwolf is right to be cautious. If he shows mercy to Burkret, the people will have reason to trust him. My thinking exactly. And the quicker we act, the more lives we spare. On both sides. This is a good plan, brother. I am ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne, and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! Oh, you never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheowulf. We all stand to benefit. And you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. Lively town. Quite a lot to see here. Sail southeast. Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields, and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor. Is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of war. You need to fight to be Move. a... Move! Move! Come, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. These men are my friends. My countrymen. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Haha, <laughs> you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You'll have 
have to endure my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. What? And both Don't eyes are... You smell that, Jailbird? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. <laughs> and there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of Danes. Say, from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to help. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over Mers. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. But not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Funberg in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald. By words and by weapons, both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skull's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harold is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger. Not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a battle of me. It was not merely a deception. It was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my skull. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Look at these pagan rats. 
ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. Those pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofric? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. <laughs> I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog. You're all the same to me. Oh, godless. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Oh. Eivor and hey. I will round up the men. Where did you learn to run? You know your way around a battery ram. I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. Strong and agile. I'll be there. Ask me. Let's make short work of this, Avar. England is a big place. Lord, light my way. Avar, first one to board Red gets to string him up by his dangly man waddle, then jab him in his fat head. Let's get through these walls first, Avar. Me get to see you fight, Avar. Show us old wolves a thing or two. How about a round of dice? Oh, Orlog. I know this game well. A worthy challenger. Play me. I need my daily entertainment. <laughs> Let us play. You just made my day, stranger. Let's have at it.
this will do. Victory. Well played, stranger. Another round. That is enough Orlock for now. I'm with the Regnesons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgred wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jail there. Something wrong. I know these men, Abel. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendship's end. Often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you.
draw out of the gate! Slaughter the soldiers! Leave the king to me! Let's go! Fall before me!
It's over, Burkret. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chairwolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one up. Where was the son of our king? Jailbed was around. It may be you missed him. Your lies are just like you, Eivor. Big and bold. of payments made like a ledger there's a symbol here a clan emblem maybe the brothers should see this I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. You were one of Burgred's thanes. You must have some sense of where he'd be. Burgred had his secret haunts, but he never told me of them. Kept me quite in the dark. For good reason, I suppose. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her, find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face in 